Hello everybody, this is Dreamer back to kick off round two for group A. So yes, round two of the group stage starting to get underway here. So in this video, we will see Toka Nightmare going up against Dino Hug, Heady going up against Random Shy Guy 10, and then Diddy Darius taking a crack at Team South America. And again, it could be a chance for these three guys to put some breathing space between themselves and the bottom two, or it could be a chance for these guys to close the gap on the top. Make sure they don't get cut adrift early. Right, without further ado, let's get on with our first matchup, shall we? Okay, so let's double check. So okay, in the blue red corner, for Toka Nightmare, we have Alpha Super Minus. Well, we all saw what this thing did to Team South America in the first match. Absolutely shredded them. Shredded them in the cleanest. And what's bad for Dino Hug is that they got a fire dinosaur. <laughs> Backing up the souk, we got a Super T-Rex, a waiter mode on 4, well we didn't see it at all last time. Kind of hoping we'll see a bit of it this time, see what it can do. Okay, so, Token Nightmare wants to swap when HP's below half, Dino Hug in the red. Right, as for Dino Hug, in the blue corner, we have got an Alpha Acrocanthosaurus. And in fact, I just realised this is the Arid Field. Which is good news for Dino Hug because they do have an Earth Dinosaur. And, oh, well actually, bad news for Toka because our Super Mimus is going to get hit because it's got terrain disadvantage. Well, there's the Earth Dinosaur I mentioned for Dino Hug and Kylosaurus. Ooh, could this, be, could this be an opportunity for Dino Hug to get their first win of the tournament? Well, with terrain advantage and the fact that Toka's got terrain disadvantage, they got a chance. I think they got a good opportunity here. But can they take advantage of it? Okay, so the Alpha Acro will be going rock. Because the Suko has terrain disadvantage. And there is that rock. Boosh. Good use of the defense boost there. Okie dokie. Okay, that's it for now. Oh, oh, the random number generator is deciding to be dramatic again. Okay, that was a one. And that's also a one. And we have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, come on, don't be slow. Speed up, otherwise I'm gonna run out of time. Okay, it's fixed, right. Generate the move, so two, so paper and paper. Oh, oh all that, and it's just a tie anyway. <laughs> Ooh, is that below half? That might be below half, but I'm not entirely convinced. And it is the Suko getting the hit. Oh, wow, even with type advantage, didn't do much damage. Is it all the power of the Suko is in the crit? Yeah, I think that's like bang on halfway. Okay, well, it's definitely below half now. The Crown Officer is coming in for that light recovery. More defense boost action. The Alpha Acro fearing pretty well. Of course, one Futaba Cannon changes all that. Ooh, that's a tie. We're getting quite a few of those in this match. But can Toka land a critical blow on this Acro? The answer to that is no. And it is Alpha Acro Campasaurus taking out the Suko. And getting a hit on the T-Rex as well. Okay, so at least the terrain disadvantage here for Toka is gone. So he doesn't have to worry about that. Okay, that's once. Three. Ooh, the T-Rex starting strong with a hit. That's twice. Needs a, needs a crit, really. But can't seem to get one. Dino Hug keeps going for paper and scissors to stop. Poke again the crit, that's three. Yeah, that's three. Maybe an awaken mode will be enough to get Toka back in this contest. Oh, here comes another light recovery. The Alpha Acro doing really well, but it is gonna be a wait wait time for the T-Rex. This can I well actually. Actually, now that I think about it, even if Toka gets a hit here. Because the Ankylosaurus has terrain advantage and the T-Rex's HP will be half, I think Dino Hug might actually win the match anyway. 
But we'll see what happens. Oh, he doesn't get the hit! Alvarap will get the hit and a bonus point win looks likely for Dino Hug now. Oh, especially with that. Hank Ilosaur is doing something useful for a change. Yeah, I think that's going to be game over for Toka. I can't, can't see him getting back into this now. Well, actually, he probably won't. Because, as I said, the Ankylosaurus has the terrain advantage, and even a scissors hit will probably be enough to kill the T Rex. But we'll see if Toka can deny Dino Hug the bonus point win. Oh, and he might! And he will get a cheeky little hit on the Ankylosaurus. Boosh! Because the Alpha Acro failed to swap. Booah! Haha, <laughs> the Ankylosaurus. Oh, that tie should finish the job. Yep, there it is. But again, it's game over. Toka's already lost because Dino is going to get the terrain advantage. And that terrain advantage is going to be scissors. What is this one? Oh, oh yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah, it's definitely game. I mean, Ankylosaurus does have weak rock and scissors moves, but the T-Rex is on such low health, it's not going to survive. But, unfortunately for Dino Hug, they do get denied the bonus point win, and we'll just have to settle for a regular win. So yeah, terrain advantage definitely played a factor in that matchup. Let's actually have a look and see what would have happened without terrain advantage. So, Toka would have... Okay, it would have been a tie. Okay, yeah, Dino Hug was going to win. <laughs> right, let's move on to our next matchup, shall we? Ooh, we're in the Alpha Arena. Um, I don't think any of our guys have Alpha Dinosaurs. Okay, in the red corner, for Heady, we have the Stone Cold Triceratops. Um, Heady kind of didn't really get going in the last matchup against uh, Diddy Darius. We'll hope for better this time. Backing up the trike, we have the Despletosaurus. Even though Heady had terrain advantage in that matchup, still didn't win. But we definitely saw what this Despletosaurus can do with our firebomb. Okay then, in the blue corner, for random Shy Guy 10, we have the Sejuangosaurus, the pit or predator. Well, I'm sure Dino Hug's still having nightmares over this thing after what it did to the Alpha Apocamposaurus and how much of a menace it was. I'm sure Heady will be looking to squash it straight away. Backing up the um, Sejuangosaurus, we have Spinotes. We have the Spinotector. Didn't really see what much of this guy because the Sejuangosaurus did all the work in the last round. And the Spinotector just came in to finish the job. Oh yeah, we uh, yeah we saw like a shockwave support effect. No, that. Okay, so Heady wants to swap in the red. Shy guy in below half. Ooh, trike land in the first hit there. Oosh. Oh, oh, getting the Dino Illusion going already. Oh, look at this, a support effect as well. A strong start from Heady. Yeah, that's not below half. Well, there goes our Dino Illusion. Heady landed another hit, but as I said, the Dino Illusion will eat it up. Will we get a support effect? Nope. Boom, boom, boom. But a solid start from Heady thus far. Oh, that's a tie. Okay, now the Sejuang is below half. Ooh, and he will get the swap into Spinotector. Oh, getting off a Cyclone. I don't think it's going to matter, though. Hmm. Interesting, yeah, because the Spinotector has type disadvantage against this trike. So if he gets plenty of hits, it, they won't do much damage, and that bar will fill up. Oh well, at this rate he might not get a hit, because the trike lands are correct. And well, luckily for um, Rat Shy Guy's sake, that wasn't Thunder Driver. If it was, that would probably be done by her. Oh, Ed! Wow, well, Eddie's doing really well so far. Choo. 
Um, I don't think we're going to see Dino Tactor. And in fact, <laughs> the Spino would be wanting the chicken out of there. But he's not getting the chance. And his Teddy continuing to dominate. Well, the trike is doing to Shy Guy what the Sejuang did to Dino Hug, messing him up. Well, one crit will probably win it for Heady now, because it's fun because it'll be Thunder Driver. Okay, Sejuang gets a hit. Can this purple predator pull it back for Shy Guy? Ooh, maybe so. I mean, he's got a Dust Plenosaurus to get past as well. <laughs> but as we saw in the first round, Fire Dinosaurs don't face Sejuanosaurus. Okay, that time might... Oh, it doesn't finish the job. But that hit well. And you'll get a cheeky hit on the Dust Plenosaurus too. So the Triceratops took out the Spinal Tector, did a lot of damage, but it's going down. Well... He couldn't, could he? Couldn't, couldn't, could he, shy guy? He couldn't get back in this match and win. He's against the Despletosaurus. The tie. Ooh, another tie. Wait, I got a bit of Eddie he might be in trouble here. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Type advantage. And this thing's got all wind moves as well. <laughs> I wouldn't say Heady's got it in the bag yet, but one hit and he's won. But Heady just can't seem to get a hit. <laughs> what is happening? Somehow, if Shy Guy can get this down to the red, he might get a losing bonus point out of this. Okay, nope, there it is. <laughs> There's the firebomb. There's the win for Heady. Made it sticky in the end. Made it a bit um, uncomfortable, but got the job done. So interestingly enough, the two guys that won in the opening round have lost so far. Heady and Dino Hug getting off the mark with wins. What a chance for Diddy Darius in the next matchup though, to extend his lead at the top. So let's see if he can do just that. Well, given the, how the um, first two matches have ended, definite up to here for Diddy Darius. Right, in the red corner for Diddy Darius, we got Alpha Kentrosaurus. We are on the Dirt Plains by the looks of it, which favours Lightning Dinosaurs, but is disliked by Wind Dinosaurs. Which is bad news for Team South America, because they got a Wind Dinosaur. Yes. Backing up the Kentrosaurus, we got Shantungasaurus, so no such worries of terrain disadvantage for Diddy Darius today. Sengoi! Right, in the blue corner for Team South America, we have got Abelosaurus. Team South America kind of got shredded by Tokenite here in the first round and looking to bounce back. And I think it's the only bot team to not win. Crazy, isn't it? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. And well, as I said earlier, backing up the uh, Abelosaurus, we got Piatnitskisaurus, the poisonous pest. Could have a bit of trouble here because of the terrain disadvantage. I mean, he, uh, he, he failed to impose himself completely. Okay, so... Oh, perfect. Both of them want to swap when HP's in the yellow, so it's the same. Can our champ Diddy Darius make it two wins out of two? And there's a hit, so that's probably more. Well, that is more than what Team South America achieved against Token Nightmare. So it's Team South America getting off to a quick start. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Ooh, Pianitskisaurus coming in with the Cyclone effect. And this is much more like it from Team South America. Ooh, and getting another hit. But because of the cyclone effect, the Abelosaurus will get the blazing spin. And this is not a good start for Diddy Darius. Whoosh. Meow. 
<laughs> and the champ will get hit as well. Because Diddy failed the swap. Ooh, okay, Diddy Darius getting back into it, finally responding with his first attack of the match. Right, it's Team Tau Team Team Tau <laughs> Team South America's turn to swap. But they don't get it! And the Pianitsky Source will get a hit as well. And look at this, Diddy Darius after a slow start coming back into this contest. No cyclone effects to worry about this time. And that's another tie, and that will probably be all she wrote for Kentrosaurus. So Team South America taking the very slightest of leads. And well, there goes the Abelosaurus. So you know what that means. Even though the Shant has the type disadvantage, the terrain advantage is all that matters, so the Shant will get a hit here. Ooh, and it's going to be a Tootlatoon Crush. Pianitsky Saurus is going to suffer the wrath of the big boys. I mean, look at this. They could, like, swallow him whole. <laughs> they could literally swallow him whole. Okay, actually, yeah, probably, actually. Look into the neck. Oh, lots of damage. But the Hurricane Beat has been triggered. Oh, he can't get it off. Oh, hang on. Team... Team South America not beaten yet. Getting the... Oh, poison in it as well. And the galley rush to come. Now, the Shant is in killing range of Hurricane Beat. Of course, Diddy Darius just gotta go scissors to prevent or rock to prevent Hurricane Beat. Okay, so there's no Hurricane Beat this time. But there is a tie and that will suit. Ooh, well it might actually yeah, it might suit Team Team South America because of the poison. Oh, has he snatched it! Has Team South America snatched victory from Diddy? I think he might! Oh, he snatched it! Oh, Diddy Darius loses! The smash and grab victory from Team South America to deny Diddy Darius the win! Wow. Wow, the poisonous pest does it again! But Diddy Darius will get a losing bonus point, so despite losing, they will extend their lead at the top of Group A. But what an opportunity missed! And it's Team South America bouncing back from their disappointment in round one. Right, let's see how Group A looks after that round. Well, again, <laughs> not much has changed. Diddy Darius just getting that losing bonus point. Extending his lead at the top there. Token Nightmare, Random Shy Guy 10 both fail to win. And then Dino Hug, Heady and Team South America getting off the mark. So yeah, all to play for in the Group of Death. Let's, let's actually see... Well, round three has in store for us in this group. So round three, we'll see Dino Hug going up against Heady, Toga Nightmare taking on Diddy Darius, and Random Shy Guy Ten against Team South America. I feel like round three could definitely shape how this group ends. Anyone who gets out of Group A would have done well in this tournament. Hats off to you. <laughs> but yeah, that's going to end this session here. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Thanks for watching. Make sure you don't miss out on future tournament videos. And until then, this is Strainy Gamer signing out. Mm -hmm.